All right, well, I tried to fix the head, but there just was no fixing it on the on the engine. I'm gonna have to either have it welded or throw them in the aluminum scrap pile, or buy a new set and swap them out and send them the ones as a crack back since they refuse to answer me back. But because of that, we're fixing to put together. Here, got me some turbo humps, baby. Yeah, these are legit. These are <laughs> real heads. Turbo over the counter. Turbo 292. Yeah, angle plug. angle plug. Are they 292? Uh, They're the same as the 292, but I think the number 492. 492. Which is a 292 angle plug. It's accessory holes. Yeah. Fine to sell them. And some humps. People say they don't exist. Some people don't think that head exists right there. But it well, does. it do. It's like Bigfoot. Back to the one that brung us. Yep. How? <laughs> <sighs> Sucks, but put that four fifty four there. She'll get it. Oh yeah, it's got aluminium heads and all that good stuff. But in the meantime, we gonna do this so we get the force bed in it. Yeah. All right. So I tried to to braise that head with it off of the engine, and that didn't work out at all. It, it I'm gonna have to take it somebody and see if I can. It's just the tiniest little spot. Take it somebody and see if I can uh, dig it for me. But we took the valve springs and stuff off the aluminum heads that originally come off of the cast iron heads and put them back on the cast iron heads and installed all that good stuff. And now we're fixing to put them back on all the 57 Shaggy over here. Oh, BP. That's him. And we're going to reuse our MLS head gaskets, but I'm kind of weary of reusing them. They, they look like they'd be all right, but I don't know. I just don't want to put all this on there and torque everything down and then have to take them back off again because of... Whatever. But all right. Get your ass. Daddy's setting the lash. Still learn how to do this shit. I suck at it. Nah, he did that whole side over there. I still suck at it. Set them at 25 thousandths cold and they will heat up and tighten up to about 22. He's in a bind over there. I know things too long or it's not long enough. Yeah, we got new head gaskets on and the old heads and stuff back on and new head bolts and all that. All of that goodness. All right, well, all the valve lashes set. Intake gaskets is on. Let it tack up just a second and I'll put a glob on the china wall back here in the front. And drop an intaker on it. All right, aside from changing the oil and putting plugs in it, it's pretty much back together. I just mentioned to dad, like, it looks better with orange heads. <laughs> yeah. But technically, now it is appear correct again. See if it'll start. He's back in action again, again, again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find somebody to try to weld that head or do something. I don't know. No, I tried to braze that brazing wouldn't have worked, and we would have had to done this anyway. Uh, just set them in uh, my toolbox, set them in top toolbox. They're for aluminum heads. Hey, I tried to braze this stuff, and it just ain't working. It just ain't working. But see, yeah, look, I'll show you these runners in this thing. They're pretty nice. That, that one's hot. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, see, that's why I wanted to salvage the heads.
She's got to get out of here. We got a broke shot from. No prep that kings, long. yeah. That long, we broke a shot now. That's why it's 21 turbo, That's John. Why, That's all yeah, it was. It wasn't no 1400 horsepower. Mm -hmm. It was a broke well, shot. It was a 2400 pound or 2400 pound Mustang that got me. It was that damn shot. <laughs> and them silver robot special right there. Camper special sucks. <laughs> if I hadn't had that on the back, if I hadn't have broke off the line when she reared up, I'd have got it. Mm. Pulled harder to the left, about hit the wall, but he beat me. So. Hard times, hard times. Hard times, man. Yeah, I tell you, you're talking about technology. He had a better shot. That's, hey, all, that's all there was. Big old turbo had nothing to do with it. No, that's a bush Well, all right, let me pause this and we'll pop that cover off. It just broke that old well, been on there 15 years. <laughs> Probably longer than that. <laughs> we, 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 we welded that with with a little generator and that little crappy welder right before we went to the, the gas race because it broke. Yeah, BP'd up there. So we just throwed it on there. Yeah, they all leak. All right, so what we're fixing to do is pop this four tens out, which sucked. Uh, even with the big block, it just this car's heavy and it wasn't sixty foot. And it's got three thousand stall in it. Well, thirty five hundred stall that only foot breaks to like twenty eight hundred, but you can trans break it to three. You can't go no higher. So we're going, yeah, we're going to put five fifty sevens in it, and we're going to leave five fifty sevens in when we go back four speed with a big block. But for now. So it took the aluminum heads off 350, 355. Well, she's down about 50 ponies now. Yeah, and added a little weight to the nose. We can put the 557s back in it and yeah. see how that leaves. Yeah, tell me it'll leave. One way yeah, it'll so leave that, with 557. With four speed in it, she'll damn sure get out of Dodge. Yeah, but this right now is kind of like a band-aid until we put the four speed yeah, in. 557 is always a go-to anyway. Mm -hmm. and, and we can't just throw the four speed in because I have to build a bunch of stuff yeah. because it, it's a totally different four speed. It's so. a little dumb, but it's going to get there. Yeah. But it needs a gear in it. Yeah, it definitely needs gear. We're going to do gear anyhow. Yeah, we're thinking either 488 or a nice mile, 557. So yeah, 557. Mile, mile street, 557. Yeah. So. She's 4,100 pounds. She yeah. needs 557. Yep. All right, we went and got the golf cart and got the generator. We got the generator powering the impact gun. Um, but we got everything out and fixed. As soon as Dad pulls that axle out, the gear come out. And then we'll start swapping. Yep. That's right. All right, well, we got the gear and everything in. They just fired it up. So we got to go get some fuel. And then we might take it off the road and see how she does. But it's officially a 557 now. All right, here comes Dad and old Bad Penny. He's going to shake her down a couple times before... Uh, to put her on the ramp truck. Yeah, not bad. That thing needs a straight drive so bad. <laughs> Which we fixed to put one in it. Sitting here debating on what to do now because the 557 helped it a bunch but the, the converter's too tight it needs the four speed in it the 557 is on and it runs good with them heads back on it with that we took a horsepower out and then added the gear so that helped her move it's just it's still really so it it's can't. it's a tunnel rim and that's a high ram yeah. so it, it's it's not going to want to do nothing till four thousand <laughs> Five fifty seven just walked the down. Yeah. But it drives fine on the street. I mean that five fifty seven's I have drove it before any of that. It'll be even better with four speed because oh, you got extra. Yeah, that four speed. I think that four speed will make that a mean son of a bitch. It will. It'll either it'll either fucking shear and snap everything or it'll fucking leave. It'll leave. It'll leave real nice. No, but the power just not if the power is just like right out here and then they get right there. Oh yeah, it goes a hundred foot before it well yeah, maybe just, maybe sixty foot before it gets no, in the power. Feel it. It's just like it's on the spray. That's the way it was with the with the uh, four tens and the, the aluminum four heads. Limbs, the four limbs, it just like it'd come out and then it was just like somebody just hit you in the ice, but now it's like somebody kicks you in the ice. Mm -hmm. it, it's like the spray's coming on. Yeah, it's so funny when it gets to that certain point and it the, the engine starts getting into the cam's happy spot. 
It's just there's just no low end. There's no low end. No. It's right at eleven hundred. It won't. It won't foot break no more. It won't. It's way too tight. It's like a stock converter. It is. Well, it is now because you've changed the gear. You've changed the load on it. I don't see no reason to swap that converter. Or like put a loose converter in it. If you put a loose converter in it, you can leave it five. But I don't see no Only on a trans brake. I don't see no benefit. It would, it would be, when you shift it, it would be loose. If you get one that's loose enough to flash that that's far, I mean. when you, you shift, it's going to be sloppy. If you sloppy. get one that'll leave, it's going to slip. It'll blow through the converter mm -hmm. because the car's so damn heavy. The only way is put... A Liberty Extreme in. I mean, that's the only solution. <laughs> if only, if only. Yeah, that's, that's... I think that's what she wants. I think she's telling us, like, look here. Oh, it's been telling you that since the first time you made a pass with the automatic. <laughs> okay, I, I ain't doing shit. I get my liver. What's funny is the 427 big block runs the same as the 355 small block. It made no difference yeah. Yeah. because everything from their back has been the same. Yeah. 410s and turbo 400 and tie converter. Yeah. Well, we had that really loose one in and it just blew through. Yeah. This car, it just ain't supposed to have no auto in it. She is not having none of that automatic. Bad penny's like, pull this tune, man. Nah. Sure. Yep, getting on BP. I think they're going to go put a, put not just a four speed, the four speed in that car. Change clutch, I mean change everything. I'm tickled to be able to do it for him. This, this transmission we're fixing to put in there is a bucket list item that I never thought me and you should be able to have. And I was able to get it for him. Pretty freaking awesome. BP up on the lift there and fix that. Yank out that turbo for Hundo. That was a good bad. Yep. Well, that was the good. This was the better. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that turbo 400. Said I'll probably stick that transmission, that converter behind that 406 and have a spare complete combination. Wait, if something happens to mine, got a backup. Because I don't think that'll ever go automatic again in this car. We did it and it. It just ain't, it just sucks. Yeah, it's just, it's just so, it's lazy. Yeah. It's pretty lazy. Well, the, the engine and stuff is 4,000 and on, but you only got, you, we, you can easily leave it like 2,000 RPM. You just can't. So, All right, I'm going to shut up and uh, grab some tools and get this sucker out of there. I wonder if I should hit the clock and see how long it takes, but I kind of want to just enjoy it instead of rush through it. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. We got the trains and everything out. Fix it go the other direction. We're in the middle of a crisis and can't get food or nothing like that. We're using bread. That's what Dad said. This is a processed commodity right now. You use bread on hurricane. I don't know. Before anybody says anything, we put the Fram filter on because we had water and oil and... We run diesel oil through it, and we've got PF. We've got the PF uh, 1218 AC Delcos. I got six of them. Yeah, got the right so, one. This one was a cheapo just to clean it. So for anybody freaks out saying, "Oh my God, you've got a Fram filter on there!" Calm down. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> well, we surfaced the flywheel. Is this correct to do? 
No. Have we done it before? Many times. Will it work? Possibly. <laughs> we ain't hooking no thousand horsepower, so it ought to work fine. All right, well, we are at a standstill because this clutch won't attach to that flywheel, and we're not ordering a special flywheel. So we're going to go get Dad's Hayes pressure plate, use this RAM disc, put it all together, and hope it works. Yep. It'll work fine. This is a solid. See, this is the D606. This is a O'Reilly Special. So I go ahead and run this, but I got to run this aluminum flywheel. That car's too. You can't good. run an aluminum flywheel. No, I have. I can't. No, they, they suck because they, they ain't got enough inertia for a car. This car weighs 4,100 pounds. So there's not enough inertia in that aluminum to get her moving. Everybody that runs them run 2,000 pound cars with, you know, crazy gear and then 1,000 horsepower. Can't be doing that. So that's little 475 horse small walk is going to have to just be good or enough. Yeah, so we're going to run out there first thing in the morning, get that stuff, and then we'll jump back on it, and we should have this thing together tomorrow, knock on wood. Day two of Bad Penny, day like eight of catastrophe, Helena oh, destruction, seven. seventh seven. day. Seven, Helena. Yeah, Helene. Helene. How you say it? Is it Helene? Helene? Yeah. Helene? Start it's Helene. Helene. But yeah, it's it's really, really bad. There's lots of people in really, really, really bad yeah, shape. No joke, yeah, it's really bad. I was kind of making a lot of situations in the beginning with my tropical shirt because I was working on a motor. To me, it wasn't no big deal. It's just rain, but then it got really bad. Yeah, bad. Lost power to water. I mean, it's it, people ain't got no food. It, it's a mess. But we're getting by and we're doing car stuff. So when in doubt, work on your car. All right, putting the pressure plate and stuff on. All right, we got all that in there. And uh, now we got to throw something underneath the engine so it'll stay propped up. I might just stick a piece of wood in or something and then we're gonna cut the hole. Figured out we can use them original motor mounts to come off this car. Yeah, off the back right here. Should be able to flip them Yeah, boy. To make it all that, you gotta crank a few eggs. We're getting it out, making it 2,400 pounds. Hell yeah, it's a real 57 body, real 57 floor, real 57 glass, real 57 everything. You're damn right it is. It ain't fiberglass. Nope, and it ain't no hull up to the 2,200, 2,800 pound 57 Chevy neither. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, well, he's got there and cut a hole in the floor, a big old hole in the floor, but we're going to make it to where it pops right back in there. We just had to do that so we can get the transmission in and figure out where the trans is going to go. I've straightened up this side. This side over here has been much for years. Yeah, that all that there, it's going to be fixed. I'm going to make it nice. just want to get the trans and stuff in first, and then I can make it build around it. I might even build a tunnel that comes up contours in with cup holders and cell phone holder and USB charger. Some shit like that's a piece of shit. <laughs> right? uh, Some shit you can't do. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. Delivery can't have cup holders. Yeah. Cup holder will be too late long.
Well, we had a hole you could throw a cat through, and now you can put a drop of horse through this one. We had to go in there and just hack it all out. Hack it all out, because we want to be able to put the trans in with ease, take that whole piece out, put the trans in and out. So. You hit around that little buff and get it, or you yeah. just get it one time. So. Making brackets. You got it, huh? <laughs> Making brackets. Brackets. Oh, I, the one I got the one out there cooling off. But I'll show you. We made uh, transmission mounts to go to the bell house, and like the factory mounts that come on these cars. But this has moved the whole f engine's moved an inch forward for the big block. So we had to compensate for that. So instead of using the ones we had and putting spacers. Just making some. Alright, there's our mounts. Letting the paint dry. I did one black and one white. One's number one by one, one's number two for each side because they, they fit each side different. Uh, but I did that one white like Colton's S10 and that was black like my Nova. Alright, there's our brackets. They ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but they're going to work. <laughs> I think she's beautiful. There's the other one. The moment of truth and see if everything anything moves when we let the jack down. I think she's good, you think so? I think I ain't going to nowhere shit. <laughs> well, easy car, easy. <laughs> Talk about they didn't, they didn't make that they didn't make that transfer going things right. for the chassis. Let's see what this does. Yeah, you got an air flip place. <laughs> it didn't even attempt to move. Awesome. Well, this means we can set the car down and look. Or you want to just go ahead and do the drive shaft first? Well, we need to do the top bolts up there, and then we can do the drive shaft. For the trans. Yeah, getting in is going to be a little bit of a struggle. But we just have to get in there and let him feel it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. That'll be so good. That's that's about perfect for you. I don't think you can street drive like that. Hell yeah. From hold it in. Hell yeah. Well, uh, this is, uh, clutch fork is hitting the transmission because the transmission is so bulky and that's not exactly, that's a truck fork, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a little extra bulky and it's hitting, so we're going to have to take everything back loose, get the clutch fork out, which all we got to do is pull the trans out, get the clutch fork out, and then grind some big old notches in it, probably inch and a half long and probably quarter inch deep on the rib parts, so. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, it's all back in. We pulled the, the fork out, cut a bunch off of it. So, like it, it's got movement now. They'd have to come back, like Dad said, a whole inch before it bottoms up now. Yeah, this one does for sure. All right, now our clutch is a working and feeling mighty strong, mighty strong. So you push it in. It turns nice and smooth back. That OD is the exact same size as that OD, so that's why they're tight. You put them in there. As long as you index that with that, weld it up, and don't remove the weights. 7,500 RPM, see just fine. That's the damn fruit. He's probably done 40 of these damn things. Maybe not 40, at least at least 15 or 20 of them like this. I think 40. Uh, well, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I've done a lot. We've, we've put them in shit and they've never shook, never <laughs> been out of bounds. They ain't never made them move. They ain't broke. Yeah, they've been great. Yeah. I know they've been trained to this season. Oh my God, you're doing what? Yeah, nobody does this. Nobody can do this. Horse shit. You can go over and pay $300 for them. Go ahead. You can't reach them. Terrible for flexible. Burn in fire. All right. Yeah. We now have a new drive shaft. Yep. Dead on all the way around too. Yeah. Dad kind of filmed that whole thing how I do yeah. these. And uh, like I was telling his camera. Cool. Yeah. But it works. Done a lot of them, I guess, and they've been fine, so. Do I recommend you do it? Nah, sure, why not? <laughs> but if you do it, it comes apart. It ain't my fault. <laughs> Yeah. I give the right tips. This does that. Done a lot of them, I guess. I've been fine. Just don't take much off of them. I think most I took off was like four inches. I don't know if you can lengthen one. No, I don't know how you would lengthen one. I just to start all over with one. I mean, you can make one. I guarantee you can make one stretch. But yeah, but then you have to have it balanced. See, what's cool about these is the weights is already there. So the balance is already in it. You're just taking away a little little bit of the length of it. So. Yeah, what's funny is Colton was making all that horsepower with the S10 and it broke everything but the drive shaft. It broke the pinion 
<laughs> and the gut shaft was still together. Yeah. Took the U joint and sheared it apart on the launch. Yeah, did not do shit. Did not break a damn thing. Yeah, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna stick it in there and then should be ready to test. All right. Trans is in, drive shaft is in. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Now just to test it. <laughs> I can hear the I can hear the engine speed come up as it goes boom 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 like it, you can't even hear the shift but you the engine speed your foot's the same but you can hear it speed up a little bit a little bit a little bit it works yeah. well there she is bad penny is back to a four speed we still got a lot of stuff to do we got to build a tunnel and all that uh, put the safety loop back in it bolt the seat stuff back in it carpet back down in it all that but it's back to a four speed like it ain't never been before. That thing is crazy. Uh, right it's just... it's right <laughs> <laughs> got him trans, got it in his car. <laughs> and it was Saturday is his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be rowdy. <laughs> Look at that thing in there. Got a trans worth more than a whole car. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> That's awesome. She is in there. All right, cool. On that note, we can call and go get some grub. Man, I feel so. I, I was hoping this would be done before Wednesday because that gives us all day Wednesday to shake it down, make sure it's good, and then button up everything else. You know, Wednesday evening and, and Thursday. All right. Well, Dad is fixing the. Grab the key and fire it up with it loaded and everything. Just gonna move it out, move it around a little bit, and see uh, how everything feels. Oh, I gotta step back. I got the I got my other the other phone to film because I got my go my good phone in there for when we go up a road. Uh, it'll record everything, but this should work. The audio is probably not gonna be a good as good on this phone as my other, but be all right. Sister.
That's the first that. test. I heard that and I was like, what in the <laughs> Oh my God, that is cool. That's the nicest marks that car has ever left. Look, that's a straight drive with no gaps. First, second, and third. Yeah. God it almighty. Is, it is like, it's like 300 foot of solid black. This son of a yeah. bitch will fucking rip. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. She I come around the corner just in time to hear you. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was a highway patrol, that black grill. I was like, fuck. No, I was like, holy shit, that's a cop. <laughs> Justin would walk around and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Well, this motherfucker rips. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't never going like that. That, that. that first one, where you first let go, it sounded like the clutch just slipped just a little bit, then it grabbed, and then the second one, good. it was yeah. good. Yeah, that's, that's five. <laughs> right in. Oh, that was exciting. I'm glad I caught that. That's a fucking ride. That's a <laughs> I mean, it just black, black, black marks all the way up through there. No. Now you got that motor in the power band where she's happy, and that that disc don't give. It was funny. It was like it was like sideways. It sounded so good too. So BP man, we put the bad in bad penny. Yeah, Carl was on the way home from work and stumbled upon us heathens out there having fun. No blip, there ain't nothing dude, no. as soon as you yank it. God dang. That's a transmission right there. Street driving, it sucks. Oh, it's hard to drive. Yeah. It's fun. Well, I know when you was going down through there and you just rolled it just one, two, it pushed me into the it, bar. When just we pulled off there, we was like, bang, bang. The like, ratio oh, is nuts. Thing. I mean, it's just like, yeah, the ratio is crazy on that trans. It feels like somebody's runs up and just hits you in the back when it changes. Well, that was a success. It worked. We got, we got to pick it up and weld the shock and stuff back on and do, like I said, some, some little stuff, but she works. Yeah, Unlike anything we've ever experienced. Yeah, on 87 <laughs> fuel. Yeah. We got pump gas 87, this sucker. Yeah. Compression's only nine and a, like nine and a half to one with that head gas getting that head. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, with the aluminum headed big block tunnel ram stuff, we're going. Dad's going to fix and order the rings and bearings for that, and then that's going together, and that's going in. Oh, it'll be insanity. <laughs> the way it come up through there. Well, this it it went it went uh, six seven seventies with the old uh, top loader in it with big gaps between shifts. That's how them dudes are going so fast. They don't got a clutch. It feels so good though, you, you can have confidence. It. Yeah. It went in there, I was like, well, I don't know, because it's kind of spooky, but boy, when you feel it the first time, you can drill a dick into that shit. <laughs> There's no going back. No, my God. And what's cool, you, the horsepower that this thing's making, you'll never break that trans. No. It's rated to a thousand plus or more. Yeah, it's hooked. It's hooked. It might, it might, It'll wheelie big time. It again. I don't know. Boy, it's, it's trying to right there. When you did the little poop, the front end just goes whoop. So there, we put the bad in bad penny. All right, so we need some sheet metal and we need something that's like kind of thin and, and like kind of easy to mold and all that. And Dad's like, what about a water heater? Anyway, just replace the water heater inside and this is laying in the bed of Duramax, getting ready to go to the scrapyard. And so we're going to cut, <laughs> we're going to cut here. We did this little test piece right here. Yeah. See if the insulation was hooked to it, coming right off. Yeah. Right. And it's pliable. Yeah. 
Damn good looking, cheap free hair bitch coat. Yeah, we're gonna try. So, all right, let's cut it. All right, well, there's our piece of metal. Here we go, we got our piece of sheet metal. We're fixing to turn this into a floor. We've been making flooring. Making it to where it all bolt in and bolt out. We're gonna put a big plate right there where the yoke and stuff is. It'll come in and out. And we're just using the original floor and pieces of this water heater. And we made that piece that goes over. We made this piece. Dad's making this other little piece over yonder. Is it professional? No. Do we care? No. Is it a floor? Yes. <laughs> That's what they make carpet for, right? <laughs> but, yeah, we had some some grub. We had some grub in here, some hot dogs. Oh yeah, I think it'll be, it looks good to me. I'll put one of them in a freight car and see how you do it. <laughs> Man, the trans was killer though. The trans was freaking awesome. Was. Yeah, man, I got a clear space on my freaking phone again. God, I ain't got but four minutes left. Whew. I have to do that tonight. Yeah, earlier when we uh, took part for the first time, the seat and stuff wasn't in, so I was propped up on the roll bar. And the first time we felt the trans go from first to second gear or first, second to third, not under like power or nothing, but it absolutely blew our minds. Our reaction was, was so funny because I watched it earlier. <laughs> yeah, it was just like blam. I'm like, what in the world? That is crazy. That that's how that feels. Oh, that'll work Straighten fine. Straighten it up a little bit. That'll work great. Make it a little bit prettier. That'll work fantastical. That right there could be your uh, drill holes in that, and that'll be the flange. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I just pulled the camera out. You can't see uh, underneath the carpet. We got a hole panel piece everything covers all that stuff that bolts in we got this cool tool mr dole over here got that thing right there it is called a rivet nut setter they're rivet nuts they're not nut certs they're rivet nuts uh, yeah got that thing and put them into the floor holy crap so awesome the way that works makes life so much easier you just drill a hole and pop that sucker in there and then you bolt Go straight in. Real, real good. All right. After fighting and struggling, we got the carpet in. I should have filmed our whole, all our paneling system that went around with all the certs and everything in it, or the, but, but it looked pretty good. And then we, this is the old piece that come with the, that was with the transmission. We just kind of made it fit over top of that. Had to build another little filler piece in the back here, whatever else. Me and Dad was just thinking, I was like, we should have painted it red. We ain't got no red paint though. All right. Now we got the shock and all that stuff. Had to weld a plate in right there and then weld the shock and stuff in and all that. So that's back good like it was before. Uh, it broke when we was at the MPK. And that's why Dad lost the race to get his turbo John, is because that broke and just. Yeah. yeah, if that shot would have stayed on, no question. We'd have put the gap on him. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the 1500 horsepower or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, that's fixed and uh, all the carpet and all that stuff's in. Got to put the seat and all that stuff in it. And uh, there's doing the safety loop right now. But yeah, we're getting there. She's like 90% now. 
Yeah, now we got the seats in, the carpet in. Man, it looks nice in there. Good looking little office out. Yeah. It's where you conduct business. Oh, we still need to put that submarine belt in. So it's gonna be cool. This thing ain't comfortable, cuz. Oh, he ain't gonna hit your head. Best way to get in with Look your head. What you not? What you talking about? Uh, oh, yeah. There you ain't go. Shit, bad. he get it's right in there. Ain't too bad. I ain't, I ain't never took cuffs for a while. <laughs> he ain't never rode with me ever, and ever, he, ever. And he may never again. Where's the seatbelt? I ain't oh, damn. We ain't, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna wreck. I just said I need one in for the blue car. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's cool. Don't get out, folks. Uh, that's fun, man. <laughs> that's a blast. Get out. <laughs> that's what I'm telling them about driving. So the shift on the drive is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah you can't hardly even tell it's shift. <laughs> that might be even oh, She sounded so good. Sounded good. I, mean, it's, I believe it sped it up a bunch. Yeah, that might even be quicker than an automatic. It is. I think so, because there's no yeah. commercial. That damn sure ain't no Muncie, is it? Well, no. You ain't got a double clutch, that thing. You know, I never did have a double clutch of Muncie. <laughs> Come on, now. <laughs> I, either, I either hit them or broke it's, them. It's, it's, no it's, 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 scary. it's scary just to pull that damn thing up. God. Yeah, yeah. Screw it. Well, I guess that concludes the uh, yeah, Bad Penny's uh, conversion from four speed to automatic. Realize that sucks, then to the ultimate in four speed. Yeah. 
too, just talking about he's gonna move this quicker than all the many. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah, that's the first time Jimmy's ever rode with Dad in anything. Yeah, I ain't never took two of the ride. Now, he took me two rides in my life. He had a black 69 Camaro. I was in the back floorboard of that when I was little. And then he rode me in a 60, 62 Corvette, I think. Mm. So pretty happy with the combo. Well, look, <laughs> yeah, we're wait, in the wait. There's a big motor I'm fixing to build him big block, 454 big block aluminum headed roller cam, all yeah, that good stuff. I think maybe 400 horsepower. It feels yeah. like a lot more now. Than yeah. Yeah. That old big motor makes about probably six or seven. Yeah. Steam, so. Yep. And all the torque down low. Getting it to hook is going to be the issue with the big motor. Yeah, we'll work it out. Mm. I don't know. It'll hook. Mm. I think it'll work. <laughs> Seems like it. And what is so wild, it doesn't seem like that gear is outrageous. Yeah. It seems perfect. Yeah, 557 is awesome. Yeah. It's just, it's just so cool. It's so clucky and banging. It's, it's awesome, man. I'm so glad we got that. So glad that worked out. And she is home. And me for Justin would never, never happen. Never ever. And then, too, I got that other Turbo 400 as a spare. I'm going to put that behind my 406 for that converter, and we'll have a spare, literally, spare combination. To swap one out of trains and all out of my car and that. So, all right, I'm gonna pause right there. That's a wrap for a uh, OBP four speed and back to being, huh? They're both low. They're they're both low. They're probably up at 14 or 15 pounds. Oh yeah, probably back it over there and put a little air in, it. put a little air in the tar. All in all, good job, car. Good job. It's cool seeing Dad get excited like that. I think it's blood going away. Yeah, it ain't like automatic just didn't have it. It just yeah. once you have stuff well, it like feels, that, it feels, it feels just like it always did, except a lot meaner. Yeah, it's just oh, shit. I always wanted it to run like that, just crazy as hell. But it is. I always figured that's what one of them transmissions would be like. But man, to get a hold of one of them things, holy smoly! You can't say it ain't no money. <laughs> All right, cool. Once you get past being afraid to pull it. Yeah, just pull it. <laughs> just pull it. Just trust. Just pull it and hold it. Trust Mr. Liberty. <laughs> Treat it like a Peter. Pull it and hold it. <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> oh. All right, cool. Let me pull this back in there.